When Polina decided to take a trip to Africa, she was looking for adventure, but nothing could have prepared her for the life-changing encounter she was about to face. Polina stepped off the plane, breathing in the humid, earthy air of Africa. Her eyes widened as she saw a vast landscape stretching far into the horizon. A local guide, smiling warmly, approached her. Welcome, Miss Polina. I'm Martin. I'll be your guide through this journey. Hop in. The hotel is a few hours away. The jeep ride was bumpy, jolting over rough terrain. Martin shared stories about the local tribes and warned her about the dangers of the jungle. He reminded her that the jungle is unpredictable, and it's best not to wander alone, as there are many wild animals around. As the jeep bounced along the dusty road, Polina glanced out the window and noticed a large, dark figure moving among the trees. Her heart skipped a beat. It was no ordinary animal. It was a massive gorilla, its presence commanding respect. The gorilla stepped closer, emerging from the shadows and beat its chest, releasing a deep, guttural growl. Polina's eyes widened in fear, realizing she was in its territory. Recalling what she had learned about dealing with wild bears, she decided to drop to the ground, making herself appear small and non-threatening. Her heart raced as she lay still, feeling the ground tremble with each step the gorilla took. The beast slowly approached, sniffing the air around her. It carefully touched her injured ankle with its massive paw. She winced in pain, letting out a soft, muffled cry. The gorilla hesitated, pulling back its hand, then grabbed her gently and threw her over its shoulder as if she weighed nothing. Where is it taking me, she whispered to herself, fearing the worst, that she was being dragged to the gorilla's lair to become its prey. The gorilla carried Polina deep into the jungle, through dense foliage and rocky path, until they reached a narrow cave. It set her down on the ground gently, Polina winced, feeling the sting of her scraped knees and palms. The gorilla positioned itself at the entrance of the cave, staring out at the heavy rain that began to pour. It did not look at her, did not growl or show any signs of aggression. Polina, trembling, pressed her back against the cold stone wall. Is it protecting me? She thought, confused. For a moment, she considered making a run for it. She crawled slowly toward the cave entrance, her movements painfully slow due to her injury. Just as she reached the exit, the gorilla blocked her path with a swift, intimidating move. It bared its sharp fangs and let out a deafening roar. She froze in place, eyes wide in terror, realizing she had no chance against such a powerful creature. She backed away, understanding now that the gorilla wasn't attacking her, but was preventing her from leaving. As the rain continued to fall, the gorilla kept its eyes fixed on the jungle, standing guard. Polina noticed its alertness and realized it wasn't threatening her, but keeping watch over the entrance. She took a deep breath, her initial fear slowly giving way to a strange sense of safety. Are you protecting me? She whispered softly, almost in disbelief. The gorilla didn't respond, but glanced briefly at her before returning its gaze to the rain-soaked jungle. Polina remembered her phone. With shaky hands, she dug into her backpack. Everything was soaked, but she managed to dry her phone on her shirt. Her heart leaped as it flickered to life. She quickly dialed the emergency number. Hello? I'm lost in the jungle. A gorilla? It's with me, but I think it's protecting me. Please send help, she said, her voice filled with desperation. The operator's voice was calm and reassuring, instructing her to stay put and keep the line open. Polina set the phone aside and looked at the gorilla, which now seemed less like a beast and more like a guardian. Thank you for saving me, she said softly, filled with gratitude. She pulled out a small piece of bread from her bag and hesitantly offered it to the gorilla. It eyed the bread with suspicion, sniffing it cautiously. Polina took a bite herself, smiling gently. See, it's safe. It's food, she encouraged. The gorilla, finally convinced, took the bread from her hand and ate it. Polina felt a wave of relief wash over her. Hours passed and she sat next to the gorilla, feeling an unexpected bond forming between them. The sound of approaching footsteps and shouts broke the silence. Polina turned to see a group of rescuers emerging from the jungle, their faces a mix of shock and amazement as they saw her sitting calmly beside the gorilla. Miss, are you okay? We thought you were in danger, one of the rescuers exclaimed, astonished. Polina nodded, smiling through tears of relief. 
The gorilla stood up, towering over everyone. It looked at Polina one last time, as if ensuring she was safe, then gently lifted her onto its shoulder and carried her out of the cave to the rescuers. As they reached the clearing, the gorilla set her down and slowly retreated into the jungle. Polina watched it disappear among the trees, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. I'll never forget you, my gentle giant, she whispered to herself, emotional. She turned to the rescuers, tears streaming down her face, overwhelmed by the incredible encounter she had just experienced. Sometimes help comes from the most unexpected places and friendships are born from moments of fear. Polina's journey was one she would never forget, not because of the danger, but because of the kindness she found in the unlikeliest of friends.